Um, so I classify myself as a Badawang man from Aladala Kayala, as part of the Yuan Nation, which goes from the bottom reaches of George's River in South Sydney to Eden, but on this side of the Great Dividing Range. So of the 13 clans of the Yuan people, there's only one clan that's inland, that's the Monero people, that's the McLeod people, they come from Chumut, we're sea and saltwater people. I was raised in South Sydney on Weagle country around Ingardine Heathcote. So I'm a Budawang man from the Yuan nation, from the Darwal speaking people of the southeast coast of Australia. I do not consider myself an Australian. My nation is the Yuan nation. I come from one of 200 nations on Australia's mainland. I do not consider myself Australian. I consider myself a First Nations person. So I have a specific language group. I have a specific skin name. Mayanga means, means sea eagle. I'm called Pirate because I've got one eye, one leg and a tattooed face. They're not going to call me Sue. I have a very determined picture in my head. So you've got a half shell of a tree. Right? It's the last surviving piece of something that might have been a thousand years old, or at least a hundred years old, because it's got to be that thick and it's got to be as big as it. It's important to me that I use traditional mediums, ochre, natural products. No metal, no plastic, no acrylics, no canvas. This is my people's, my interpretation of the local history that I can prove goes for 31,000 years. We have the oldest art tradition on earth. We have the oldest recognised art on earth. We have representations of animals that have been gone for 45,000 years. I see that possibly if it's recognised, this is a story that is 50,000 times longer than yours. Mm. If it's acknowledged, if it's recognised, it may bring in an understanding and an interaction with my local people so we can tell our story and the financial benefits and the physical benefits and the social benefits then flow into my people. That money will pay for scholarships, it will pay for clean water out at Rec Bay, it will pay for recognition of the fact that we are just as culturally significant as Europeans here. We have an attitude of acceptance. We don't own this place. We are caretakers. If the local European white community could accept the fact that you are caretakers as much of the sand dunes, of the history of the place, of the animals, of the spirituality, that's what I want. A recognition that our feelings are as culturally, economically and today are just as important as they were 50,000 years ago. Somebody said to me, do you know the name of the two black fellas that showed them how to get from there to to Nara? No, I don't. It was 150 <laughs> years ago. How the fuck would I know? What the, and because the names they would have been given was um, One Pound Jimmy or Pop along Jack or something like that, whatever they were named by, to the white landowners. It was just the same as the Blue Mountains. It was the same as every other discovery in Australia. You needed Indigenous people to show you the easiest way through. Mm -hmm. So if you look at the road between Vincentia and Merigo, it follows the Wall Road, it follows the Tomorong Road. Mm -hmm. It's dead flat. Mm -hmm. That's why we show this. Mm. What it does is it creates positive debate to discuss the history of the place that is as old as human history. So all I want to do is put something up there and people go, what the? What does that mean? So beside it we'll have one story in a modern way on a plaque, carved in or burnt in, whatever. But at the same time it'll have our history of 30,000 years that will confront people about their own beliefs, their own knowledge.
You want to know where this place comes from? It's not 1831 and they sent the wall road through from their ego to Vincent. It is about the history of humanity from at least 30,000 years ago. It creates the bigger debate. Where do we come from? Why do we fit in with each other? Why is this a shared pathway? You've only had it since 1831. But why is it a shared pathway? It's a shared pathway through the continuity of human condition worldwide. And we as the first people on earth, supposedly, have that story to tell, you know. Mm. Fuck mm. Picasso, fuck mm. Gauguin, you know. Mm. I don't care. Mm. I see that that is much more important sociologically, psychologically, humanly than any other art on earth.